Silence. Question number 10, Gareth Hughes. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Communication and Information Technology and asks, has she finished working through how the findings and recommendations of the Australian Parliamentary Inquiry into digital product prices may relate to New Zealand? If so, will she be taking any action? Mr Speaker. Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, along with my colleague Minister Foss, we are continuing to work through the findings and recommendations of the Australian Parliamentary Inquiry. I recognise that this is an issue of similar concern in New Zealand, and accordingly I have directed my officials to work with their Australian counterparts so that advice can be informed by what response the Australian Government is likely to take to that review. It is important to note that these recommendations are still under active consideration by the Australian Government, who are currently in caretaker mode prior to their election. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Does the Minister think it's fair a recent survey of 100 common hardware and software products found New Zealand consumers are paying on average 46 per cent more than shoppers in the United States, and for example some laptops cost as much as three times more for New Zealanders than Americans? Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr Speaker, as far as I'm aware, the survey the member refers to is his own, but uh, actually I am aware that there is a significant differential between the pricing of a number of digital products uh, compared to what they could be purchased for in the US uh, to New Zealand. This can be as little as 2%, for example, on the iPhoto for iPad product, uh, or ranging up to more than 100%. So clearly there is a differential uh, between what a similar product costs in New Zealand uh, and the US. That is an issue uh, that the Australian Committee has found can't be entirely reconciled by differences in the cost basis uh, for supplying those products. Uh, and that's why it's an issue that I've directed my officials to continue to look at. Point of order. Point of order, Gareth Hughes. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table a survey of 100 products prepared by my office that shows 46% average higher costs charged by Kiwis. <laughs> leave has sought to table such a survey. Is there any objection? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. <laughs> Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, does she think it's acceptable for companies to be charging consumers with geographic pricing and for them to have to pay a premium like the more than $1,000 premium for Adobe Frame Maker just because they're downloading it in Wellington and not Washington? Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr Speaker, what I do think we have to be careful of is getting into the space of whether it's the role of governments to tell businesses what they can uh, and should charge for their products and how they should market them. So these are issues that have to be looked at uh, with some caution. And I would just point out that even uh, within the Australian Parliament, already those notes of caution is about how realistic it is for governments to try and regulate and tell private businesses how they should sell their products and for what prices is something that you'd have to approach very carefully. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Given it's such a large cost for Kiwi businesses and Kiwi consumers, would the Minister support a Commerce Committee inquiry into inflated IT prices for Kiwi consumers? <laughs> Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, well that's obviously a, for the, a matter for the Committee to work through and not one that I would want to prejudge, but I imagine the Committee would want to carefully consider uh, whether an Australia, a New Zealand inquiry replicating the Australian one uh, would, would add, that, add further to the debate, but if they felt that necessary, I'm sure that's something they will work through. Point of order. Point of order, Gareth Hughes. Sir, I seek leave to table a letter from myself to the Commerce Committee requesting such an inquiry. Order. No, if any members are interested in that, I'm sure they can get hold of it. Um, question number 11, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. My question is to the Minister.